Hello, everybody, and how are you all doing today? It is Rusty Champagne here with you, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. We are here once again in the world of construction simulator, continuing on with some of the early missions in the game. Uh, last time that we were here, we kind of got together and we're working on a little bit of land development after I said I was going to work on a parking lot. So, <laughs> say one thing, do another in typical Rusty Champagne fashion. So, today we are going to work on that parking lot that we said we were going to work on last time. And that should take care of all of our beginning missions. Um, so, all the tutorial stuff should then be taken care of. So, this is the land development that we did outside of the Donuts Donuts uh, store. So, we are going to take a look at this uh, these upgrade level goals because we do want to actually see what we need to do to get some of these upgrade goals taken care of. So, we're going to go into here. Um, one thing that we need to do, we can go ahead here and we can get this company premises. So, this is one of the things that we need to do. So, we would have a second company, company premises in the city. And before we can enter it, the expansion contract from the opening campaign must be completed. So then we would have to complete the expansion contract from the opening campaign and uh, complete level less and unlock the entire game world. So we're going to go ahead and do this. So now we have that unlocked. And then I believe that the maybe that uh, job is the last one that we have. So if we look here and if we go to at, whoops, um, I'm hit the wrong button. Let's go here to active jobs. So the jobs, these are all the ones that we have um okay so the, oh so these are other ones that we have available so we got some mini jobs available here okay so these are kind of nice these are we can do a couple of these mini jobs as well so apparently we've opened up some mini jobs as part of our thing here so maybe we'll do this one here for transport because this is going to be hopefully a nice and easy one so if we kind of take a look at this one all we got to do in this case is all right so this has once again, three scopes, and the scopes don't seem to matter. So it's because uh, we go low, medium, high, nothing happens. So in this case, all we got to do is just we're loading a mobile toilet. And then we're delivering it, and we're getting site approval, and that is going to be it. So let's go ahead and do that because this hopefully should be pretty easy. And all we need is a flatbed crane. And lo and behold, we happen to have one of those. So let's hop into this and go ahead and take care of that so that is our av our active job and i think we can actually track it i don't know if we have to worry about it um no we don't have to worry about it because we are actually here so now we've got our dozer that's kind of sitting out here in the street and i guess that'll be fine i guess i should turn off the lights on our dozer because we don't want it to uh <laughs> we don't want to run the battery out so, and I'll set it over here, I guess, kind of on the side of the road. Uh, so we'll leave it on the sidewalk. I don't think anyone's going to care if we leave it here. And we'll go ahead, get, hop in here, turn off the lights, and then we'll hop out and we will get into our flatbed truck that we just kind of left sitting on the street. Because apparently no one seems to care too much about that. So we'll, we're, we're just going to kind of go with this. And we're going to see if we can do some fast traveling here. Because, again, we're not really in the in the market for making this driving simulator. This is more a construction simulator. In this case, a delivery simulator. So let's see where we're going on the map. Oh yeah, we can certainly fast travel a good portion of the way here. So we're gonna fast travel all the way down to the uh, gravel plant and we'll at least get that far. So that way we don't have to go all the way down that hill. So it looks like we are apparently on our way to Chinatown. And from there, we will then... <laughs> I love the way that the arrows on this thing work every once in a while. Like, it's trying to tell you which way you want to go, but just struggling to figure out the best route to do it. So, it tries so hard. It really, really tries. So, we're going to just kind of hop down this street here and try to not hit anything and not blow through any stop signs or stop lights or anything along that line. And hopefully, we'll be fine. Hey, it's another Donuts Donuts store. <laughs> Apparently, Donuts Donuts is very popular in this part of the uh, in this part of the United States. It's always important to have your Donuts Donuts. So now we're going to wait here for the light because we do have it set where 
traffic you you can get traffic violations so we're going to make sure that we don't get any traffic violations although looking at this i mean this is a stop sign so now i feel like i should be able to go here and i can't okay and no it gave me a, it gave me a traffic violation i don't know what i'm supposed to do there given the fact that there's no light there so i i really kind of struggle as to what it is that they want me to do there given the fact that there's no signal and it's just basically a stop a stop sign so i don't know what it is that they want me to wait for um one of these days i'll actually figure that out <laughs> when that is i do not know so we're apparently on our way here to pick up three toilets and take them to another place and then once we have them picked up, we will drop them off and be on our way. I really should discover some of these other places here because that will give me other fast travel points. And then I don't have to keep on stopping at all these places. Like, uh, what do we have here? So I, I could possibly go here and make a right turn. So I might do that, make a right turn from the improper lane. Um, <laughs> just so I can discover what is like over here. Oh, I can't turn it. So what's over on the map, just kind of like to my east, or to the right, rather, on the map. So I'm going to do that. So we're going to go this way. I'm going to hang a right turn here, because I do want to get to this place here. So this looks like it's, oh, it's just the gas station. Okay, so if we go here, at least we discover the gas station. And I think that once we discover, the, okay, so now I have this as a fast travel spot. And as it turns out, I could use a little bit of gas anyway, so we might as well do that. So we'll get ourselves fueled up, because we're, uh, I mean, we're down a little bit of a tank. So there we go. Filled up, cost us $129. We now have another fast travel point here in town. So we got another place that we can stop and pick things up. Or another place where we can stop and make our travels a little bit shorter, rather. And now we're on our way to Chinatown to pick up a few mobile porta potties And we're going to try to not hit this person directly in front of us because they would appreciate it if we did not do that. So <laughs> uh, so we're going to just kind of wait for them. So yeah, it's, it's kind of good that we actually found a few other missions. I, I don't know if it was just as a result of having accepted that one, um, fulfilling that one thing. Uh, go ahead, sir. And you also go ahead, sir. Um, are you also going to make... Oh, man, everybody. Okay. Uh, everyone's going to cut me off. I see how this goes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Two lanes merge into one, and you all merge right into me. I see how we're going to play this. So, yeah, I don't know if we got these other missions just as a result of uh, doing that, uh, adding the second location for ourselves. Maybe that's it. I'm not quite sure. But, okay, it looks like we have to turn here. So we're going to kind of turn here. I don't know if this is right. It feels like it's right. And there they are. Okay, so we're going to have to kind of get in here. We're going to just stay right behind this guy. So we're going to go into function mode. And I think we should be fine to do that. Yeah, we're going to be fine. So now we're going to get our camera at a better angle. And it's time to do main boom, stick boom, all the booms. All going up and all going down. And we're going to see if we can do this with relative ease because we're getting pretty good at our main booms and our stick booms now so we should be a little bit better at this at this point so we're going to go for this one here that's laying down first over on the side and we'll see i don't know how many of these we're going to actually be able to load onto the truck at once but we're going to find out so oh am i not going to be close enough i am not going to be close enough so we are going to have to move a little bit closer um, oh, but I got to reset everything. Ah, why are all these cars in my way? Okay, so let's reset. And now we got to get a little bit closer. So we're going to go into drive mode. And we're going to see if we can do this without hitting this nice person's car right here. So we're going to, whoa, very easily, very easy. There we go. Uh, all right, now I think we should be able to do it. And I think that we should be able to actually get into function mode and not have it be an issue. We'll find out in just a second and see, yeah, we can do that. We're not going to hit anybody with our supports. 
This person's looking at me like, uh, sir, what are you doing? And please don't hit my car in the process of doing whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> and so, once again, main boom and stick boom, all the booms. And we're going to swing this over and try to not hit this, uh, not hit anything, not hit the cars, not hit the light poles, and pick up all these toilets. And I don't know why one of them's laying down. I probably don't want to know, but uh, we're, we're not going to ask questions. We're just going to pick it up. There we go. So let's lift it. Now the question becomes, how many of these are we all going to be able to get on here? So we're going to lift this way up, get it way in the air, and bring it back. And hopefully all three of these are going to be able to, what am I stuck on? All the lights randomly going on and off in the apartment complex as all these people are probably wondering exactly what the heck it is that we're doing here. As are we. I, I do not know, but <laughs> again, we're not going to ask. We're just going to put these down. All right, so I think we can, yeah, we're going to just drop this down, and I think we can get all three of them on. Let's extend this out. There we go. And drop that there. Perfect. I, I'm going to go with the it's green, we're close enough, methodology here lights green traps clean i don't know what it is with that person in that apartment right up there where their lights constantly are going on and off i really cannot figure it out i don't know if they're just trying to figure out what we're doing or if they're <laughs> i or if they're just if they're just can't keep on waking up to grab something to eat or what the deal is but something's happening there all right so we're going to lift this up and whoop and we're going to bring it back. I keep on dropping the main boom. I don't know why I keep doing that. So we're going to lift up the stick. Try and get a better camera angle here. We're going to lift this up even more and just kind of retract this in. And hopefully we should be able to get all three of these on here. I don't think this will be an issue. Oh, I'm hitting my own truck. And hitting the other <laughs> hitting the other porta potty. Well, we don't, we didn't have, no one said that they had to be in the best of shape. And thankfully, it is starting to get light outside, so that is good. All right, that's in a good spot. Now we got one more here that we're going to grab from way over here. And so one left to get. And now with the lights, with it being light outside, we shouldn't have any issue with people kind of looking and trying to figure out what's going on. So we're going to get our camera in a little bit better spot. Get over that and drop on down. There we go. And let's see if we can bring this back and not cause any damage to anyone or anything. Let's lift this up in the air. Oh, what am I hitting? Am I hitting the top of that tree? Is that what it is? Uh, I'm hitting something invisible. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm hitting, but whatever it is, it is not visible to the human eye. Um, still got more people that are kind of wondering what's going on here as we put porta potties onto our truck. So we're going to swing this one out a bit to the side, bring it on in, and bring it over a little bit. Okay, so now we've got to lift. Now we got to do some combination of boom work here. So we got to lift the main boom, drop the stick lift the main boom some more and we're going to move this over and drop the stick and we've got to keep on just lifting and dropping I hope I didn't hit that car I don't think I did there we go they're all on we're going to reset this we're going to go back into drive mode so into drive mode we go I'm going to slowly oh I thought I put it in drive mode uh, I did not because all the sports are still on the ground so back into drive mode we're going to slowly back away from these cars and not hit either of them. Ever so gently. Gently. There we go. Let's go into fast travel mode. Where do we need to go and what is the fastest way we can get there? Um, well, no, there's just no good way of going about this. So I guess at least we could fast travel to the gas station. That's going to get us a little bit closer. Uh, not a lot, but at least it gets us out of this tight corner that we're in. So we got that going for us. So yeah, we didn't make much for didn't make much progress there, but we made a little. So all right, so we're going to look real quick to the left. Nobody coming, and we're on our way. 
And I believe that we are all on our way to, I think this is a construction site. I don't know exactly where we're headed, but we're making good time wherever it is. So, got our three porta potties. I don't see anybody coming. You have a stop sign. You do not, but I'm not going to worry about that anyway. So, I stopped. You were not there yet. So, that's all I need to know. So, hopefully, there are not going to be any stoplights on the way to here because we're still a couple of kilometers away. And again, this is the part where it's good to be able to discover all the areas that you can just so that way you don't have to keep on driving through town and stopping at all the stoplights. Because again, this is a driving simulator. It's it, In this case, it's a delivery simulator. So, <laughs> so this isn't even construction. It's just delivery. But we are going to stop at these question marks and we are going to discover these question marks because that is going to give us other places that we can fast travel down the road so we don't have to keep on doing all this driving. So we've got an area here. Whoa! I did not see that guy drift stop. I was too busy going forward. I left about six inches. So maybe that. Maybe not even that. So I think this is another vehicle dealer, possibly. Maybe. I'm not sure. We're going to pull in here and find out what you are. So you are what? A vehicle dealer. That's what I thought. Okay, so let's pull back out of here again. So if nothing else, we have another fast travel point, so that's good. And we'll wait here for our turn at the light. Because again, I'm pretty sure I cannot make a right turn on red. I think that the game has an issue with people making right turns at red lights. So I'm just going to sit here and wait and be patient about it. And we'll, we'll talk amongst ourselves about why it is that we have three toilets on our truck. Uh, <laughs> but now we're going again. So we're in good shape. I'm going to try and cut this corner, not hit the car, and not hit the pole. And surprisingly enough, I managed to pull that off without causing any injury to anything or anyone. It's kind of strange. Okay. And we go along. I still don't understand why everyone on the street drives so slowly. Uh, <laughs> or maybe I'm just driving too fast. One or the other. I don't know what it is. But people need to be a little bit quicker with what they're doing. This looks like it's another gas station. And it is, so we will pull in here, discover another gas station. I don't need any gas, and I don't want to go in and stop for any snacks. So we're just going to pull right back out again. And we're going to take a look to the left. We're all clear. Let's get on out of here before that car decides that he wants to get any closer. So at least now we got a couple of closer points, which is good. And that way, whenever we have to come through here again, we're not going to have to stop at all these stoplights. So now we seem like we're in decent shape. And hopefully that guy's going to go left. Yes, he does. Very nice of him to do. So how far are we away? We're still one kilometer away. So we're halfway there. So yeah, this job only has one stage, but you're going to have to drive halfway across town to do it. So that's, that's the only downside to it. And I should have stopped and gotten some repairs because I just noticed that the... Uh, but the green indicator for our truck is like halfway to empty. So I probably should have gotten some repairs at the gas station while I was thinking about it, but I did not do that. So that's okay though. We should be fine. We should not need to get ourselves repaired between now and then. I think we'll be able to pull this off without any kind of an issue. So I hope you're enjoying our current episode of Mobile Toilet Driving Simulator. <laughs> as we make our way across the town to drop off these three mobile toilets I'm assuming back at the I don't know if it's at a construction site or if it's back at the um, at the mobile toilet store uh, because it looked like they may have been at a construction site uh, and I probably would know better had I read the quest a little bit more closely but what fun would that be so we're just going to continue driving and making our way towards our destination and it would be nice if there were not so many red lights it's almost as if they've got a timed against me so yeah the good news is like I said once we once we discover all these fast travel points we're not gonna have to do nearly as much of this but it's just all the initial discovery all around the town that is kind of slowing things down as much as it is and again I could have gone ahead and turned off all of the um, all the, the traffic violations if I wanted to, but I figure I'll just leave that in for realism because, eh, why not? So we'll, we'll eventually be there. We're not that far away now. We're about two-thirds of a kilometer away. 
and it does look like we have another fast travel point here that we can discover off to our left so it looks like it's right here so I might take another small detour and make a left turn here because this will oh boy oh well I'm already in it now so I might as well go <laughs> oh you're gonna give me another one okay I see how we're gonna play this so <laughs> one wasn't enough let's have another one okay so what is the way around here I guess I get to go around this way so yes it looks like oh is it another gas station all the gas stations okay well I had talked about how we need repairs so we might as well stop and get some repairs while I'm at it so can we go here or do we have to go in the middle oh no we can go here all right well let's get repaired and we've eaten up like an eighth of a tank of fuel so let's get repaired as well how much is the repair is going to cost four thousand dollars I didn't think I was that bad of a driver so now we're going to go out this way and then we're going to have to make a left so we're going to do our best to not run over the pedestrian and not hit either of these cars and i think we'll be okay all right the pedestrians out of the way the cars are moving all is well and now we have to make a uh, left turn up here and of course the light is red because all the lights in oh now it turned green there we go I was just about to say, all the lights in this town are inappropriately timed. Uh, again, I that, that one was green, so I'm calling shenanigans. I don't know what I did wrong there. I am convinced that I did nothing wrong, and maybe it was just the place where I crossed, and it somehow determined that I needed to give another $100 to the city. And that's fine. I mean, if you need the extra $100, that, that, that's fine. Just say so. But you, sir, did not stop at the stop sign. You absolutely did not stop at the stop sign. So, <laughs> apparently the traffic the traffic laws only apply for certain people. Um, sir, you can go now. It, it, you're, you're okay to go. You, you waited well long enough. Right? There's nobody coming either direction. And we're on our way to what looks like the industrial area here. And going to stop at whatever this is here on our right. This is the building yard. All right, so we're pulling into the building yard and apparently going to drop off our mobile toilets. So here we go. We've got all those, and we're going to just take them all the way back around here. Are these being scrapped? No, they're not being scrapped. We're just dropping them off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're just dropping them off over there. I get it. So we're going to drop off these three toilets over by those three toilets or four toilets so all the toilets have friends. I think we can just pull in here. So we're going to try this. I think we just got to do this. So we're going to go this way. And we're going to actually back up. Look at us being all bold and daring and backing into the space. And now we're going to have to take them off of here. Or will they? Whoa. Oh, no. They just magically appear. And now we speak with the foreman. It's not hate. We're just going to speak with Joe Random Foreman uh, and not hate. Okay. Uh, what does the foreman have to say? Um, transport job completed. There we go. We dropped off some toilets. Life is good. We made $10,500. We made 105 experience points. So that's good. Can't complain with that. So let's take a look at some jobs again. And if we look here, so we did the transport. Um, so is it asking us to do it again? Do those just, I wonder if those just keep on repeating. I, I'm not quite sure. So, huh. I wonder if that's if those are just nice, easy ways to get free money. I do not know. Because I'm guessing that we... Let's see. If we hit select... Oh, so it, it, I guess it just keeps on making those available time and time again. Huh. That's, that's interesting to see. Well, with that being the case, uh, at least it's nice to know what those are about. And I guess if you're ever in a pinch for money, you can just keep on delivering toilets. So, <laughs> and now we could do it in even fast travel. Because uh, if we discovered this place, yeah, we have. So, yeah, we could constantly just fast travel and deliver toilets and get $10,000 every time we did it. But we're not going to do that. Instead, we are going to go here and we are going to start. We may not finish, but we will probably start working on this parking lot. 
So we may do the first couple stages of the parking lot and see how we do with this. So in this case, we are going to have to rent and move and park a construction machine. And then we need to rent and move and position another construction machine, uh, get some asphalt. And then we need to do a bunch of roadworks and a bunch of asphalt compacting, which is going to probably be in that compactor that we had at the very beginning. And then we're going to get our approval. So let's see. Uh, once again, job scope probably does not matter on this. It does not. There are four stages to this job. So the first thing we need to do is some construction prep and then some transporting and then some roadworks. So it looks like we just need a bunch of vehicles. So let's accept this contract. Uh, we're going to need an asphalt paver for this part of the job. Okay, so what other things do they recommend that we need? Oh, just, uh, just different asphalt pavers. Okay. All right, so we're going to go back, and we're going to go back again. So the dam is a popular tourist destination and early, urgently needs a new parking lot because of the recent events are attracting numerous tourists to the site. Everything has been prepared. The only thing missing is the final layer of asphalt. So, yeah, it's amazing what putting a fake UFO in town will do. I would suggest that, first and foremost, you rent an asphalt paver from the vehicle dealer and bring it to the construction site. Well, that would make sense. So we will go ahead and rent an asphalt paver. Let's see where we need to be in order to do all this. So where are we going? We're going up to the dam. So we're just, that is the construction site? Yeah, because there's the dam. So we're going to go up here to this vehicle dealer. We're going to fast travel all the way there. And I guess I could have gotten in my truck. But that's okay, because <laughs> I think if I had been in my truck, it would have brought my truck with me. I have advanced in a milestone level. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that means, but we will take a look at some point down the road. Um, but right now, we're going to get in here. We're going to go sort by a machine class. We're going to go to our asphalt pavers. And I might not get the cheapest asphalt paver this time. I might actually get one that is a little bit higher Maybe go middle of the road. We got, what, four of them? So that's 6,000, 5,500, 6,000, 6,000. So we'll go with the, um, I don't think I've rented a bow mag yet. So we'll, we'll rent the bow mag. We're, we're going to try and give everybody equal opportunity on our screen. Because I've rented a cat. I've rented a Saini. So let's rent this bow mag for $6,000. And that is accepted. So now if we backspace out of here... Now we can get into the asphalt paper, and it is over here. That's a slick-looking machine there. It looks like we could do all kinds of damage with this thing. All right. So once again, this machine is not roadworthy and should be transported either by vehicle, trailer, or by fast travel. You don't have to ask me twice if I want to fast travel. So we will do that. So we're going to bring this here, and I believe all we have to do with this now is just drop it off. So, yeah, without asphalt, of course, we won't get far. For asphalt transport, we need an asphalt dumper. Your flatbed crane won't suffice. So let's go to the vehicle dealer again. So now we're in vehicle dealer simulator. <laughs> so we're going to drop this off, and we're going to then go back to the uh, vehicle dealer and fast travel there. And now we're going to pick up an asphalt dumper, I think it said. Uh, yes. So we're going to go in once again, and we're going to get an asphalt dumper to go with our asphalt paver. So now we're going to go here, find the asphalt dumpers, and we might be able to go this way. We'll see. Uh, those are compactors. So we don't need that. So we have pavers. Um, where would the dumpers be? So dumpers. I'm assuming that's what we want. Uh, let's take a look just for sure. So what, what kind of machines did they say? So let's go to the job and let's see what they say, what they recommend. So they recommend an asphalt dumper. So it's actually an asphalt dumper. So I should probably look for that at the, at the thing. So it's probably just not a dumper. It's probably, I'm guessing an asphalt dumper. Let's keep on looking. And let's see what we have. So those are compactors. Those are pavers. And then we've got, so those are dumpers. Oh, asphalt dumper. There it is. Right there. So we got a couple of them. They're just right in here. 
Uh, so we got a Mac and we've got a uh, man. Yeah, let's get the man one. So that's oh, 2300. They're both 2300. Let's get this one because I like the red. So we'll do that. We're going to rent this for $2,300 a day. And we're going to accept this. And we're going to now back out of here. And we're going to enter the asphalt dumper, which is once again around this corner. This is a nice looking machine as well. So we're going to hop in here. And we can fast travel, even though we can actually drive this one, because this one is roadworthy. So might as well spend the however much money it is, 55 credits. Um, we're going to make plenty of money, so 55 credits is nothing, and it's going to make the game go even faster. So let's do that. So yes, we can use the map. We've done that. So now we're going to transport the asphalt. Um, oh, so no, we're not in the right place. So we need to go to the, yeah, we are in the wrong spot. I fast traveled to the wrong place. We want to go here to the gravel plant. It helps to pay attention to your map. So, <laughs> so here we are at the asphalt silo. You can have the asphalt dispense. This works in the same way as you already know it from bulk material silos. So we're going to go around here, it looks like. And we're just going to pull into this spot. Nice and easy. Oh, I'm going to hit the wall. So, all right, now we're going to go into this spot. Open the context menu and press, um, let's see, this to open the lid. The lid is open. And then we can drive under here and get the asphalt into the truck. All right. Right on in it goes. So we're going to get this all the way filled. I don't know if we're going to need it all the way filled, but we can go ahead and fill it all the way anyway. So we're getting close to 100% now. Just about there. 55% of the way done with the job. We're going to wait until we get out from underneath here before we close the... Uh, before we close the lid. So the lid's closed. That should be more than enough asphalt to fill the asphalt paver and asphalt the parking lot. Now I think we can fast travel. So now if we look, now we should be able to go, yes. Now we can go back here. So now that we actually have asphalt, we can take it to the construction site. So important steps. Okay, so re reverse to the receiving hopper of the asphalt paver and use up and down to unload the dump truck. So we need to go to, I guess, this side. So let's, I guess maybe we need to hop in this first because I wonder if there's something on this side that we need to open. So let's see, is there something on this side that we need to, oh my. So let's hop in here. Is there something here? Let's extend the screed, let's fill up. Oh, okay, maybe we just fill it up. And then we can go asphalting on and off. So let's uh, back this up. All right. And, uh, oh, maybe we can, is it L1 and R1? Okay, perfect. So we're going, oh, let's go this way. And, and now let's see if we can back up. Okay, so this is just going to spin us. Very, very slowly. Because <laughs> nothing in this game goes quick. Uh, it's all, it's all very well paced. All right, now we probably need to go a little bit forward. And a little bit forward. And now let's go back. And back this way. And now I think we should be able to back up. I'm hoping I'm doing this right. We shall soon find out. And let's see. So we're going to do this and we're going to... Uh, let's see, reverse the receiving hopper of the asphalt paver and use the right stick to unload the dump truck. Okay, so let's see if I've got this right. I feel like I've got it right. I wonder if I could just go in here and hit fill up. So we're going to try this. So we're going to go here. Can I do this and fill up? Now move the dumper to the side to, and make some space. And then you're ready to go. So have we done it? I think we did. Okay, so now I guess we can just move the dumper to the side. Okay, so we're going to get you out of the way. So you can go over here. Oh, so we're making a parking lot at the souvenir shop. I get it. Okay, so you're just going to sit over here for now because you can. So you're going to go there. 
Okay. So now we're back at our souvenir shop, and we're putting in a parking lot. So <laughs> good to know. All right. So now we're going to go in here. We're going to back up. And we're going to spin around very, very slowly. And now, now we just have to apply the asphalt, which is going to be the first time we've done this. So let's see how we can mess this up, because <laughs> I'm sure we can. All right, so we just need to get ourselves slowly here. And I need to get a better camera angle than this, so let's see if we can get a better camera angle while we're at it. Okay, so let's get a little bit higher, and we're going to go here, open up our controls. Um, let's see. So this is going to tell us all about asphalt paper. So we've got a paving screen, which brings it to the road. So that can be extended to lay a wider surface. Um, you can only asphalt while driving forward. So R, L2, R2, we know that. We filled the container, which we figured out a different way to do it. Um, let's see. So there's the paving screed. And, um, and then we just place it as straight as possible on the roadway and start paving. Okay. So let's hop out of here. So if we go here and go to the function menu... So let's see what how, how wide the paving screen gets. So it gets that wide. Okay, that's fine. So I think then we can kind of extend this way. And we might, I wonder, do we have to be... All right, so let's see. All the asphalt's in the front. So our, which way are we facing here? We are facing the front. All right, so we're going to turn this on. So we're going to go here, and we're going to... Start asphalting. Oh, no. We're going to... Apparently, we were already, so we're going to... I wonder if we have to be on the spot. Maybe that's what it is. So let's pull ourselves onto the spot and see if that's going to do it. And now we're going to try it. Okay. So now let's see if we can do it. So we're going to go here, and asphalting is on. There we go. Just had to be on the spot. And so we're going to take this nice and easy. Whoops. And try and do this with both of them pushed down about the same. Trying to not go too fast, but at the same time, not too slow. So I guess I can just kind of go full forward. Yeah, I'll just do that. All right, so yeah, this is going actually pretty easily. <laughs> this is much easier than some of the other jobs we've done. So there we go. And all the way to the edge. And now we're going to... I think we can turn this off now. All right, so turn the asphalting off. We're going to get ourselves spun around. And go this way. And we're going to come back, and hopefully all we're going to need is one more pass, and it's going to tell us, congratulations, you're close enough, and you can move on to the next step. So that's what we're hoping for with this. Uh, we shall see. So, But we do have a nice beginning of a parking lot here at our new souvenir shop. So let's see whether or not this is going to be enough. We're going to find out. Maybe it's going to let us leave a nice wide strip in the middle. You never know. It may not be the most fancy of parking lots. So asphalting is once again on. And we're going to go forward. And let's see how we do. Uh, we're going to probably have to get that strip in the middle, I'm thinking. I don't think it's going to let us get away with that. We're going to be pretty close. So, oh, maybe... We might have it. They, yeah, they're going to give it to us, so that's nice. So now it just needs to be compacted. Just get an asphalt compactor from the vehicle dealer while the asphalt is still hot. Okay. So in this case, now I'm not going to return any of these until I know we absolutely positively do not need them anymore. Asphalting is off. We're also going to retract the screed. <laughs> retract the screed! Okay. We're also going to move this out of the way. And we'll put it up on the sidewalk, because why not? Uh, we'll just drop it right up here and spin it around. And I guess um, I'll just leave it here. And we're going to hop out, go to the vehicle dealer once again. And we're going to get an asphalt compactor. So if we go here, we need an asphalt compactor. So, oh, uh, by... Machine class. That's what we want. So we're going to go here with the asphalt compactors. We're here. 
let's see. Um, we don't want the cheap one. Let's get a bear, uh, let's get a better one. We do actually want to spend a little bit more money. So let's let's get this zany. This one's a little bit more money, and we'll we'll be willing to spend the extra two hundred dollars. Yes, so there we go. We got it. And uh, let's backspace out of here. Oh, but we do actually have to go there because we are not where it is. So we do have to fast travel to it. So let's fast travel. Oh, so I hit enter, which is what actually got it, gave us the ability to get the machine. But now we actually have to hop into the machine. I love the way we run. <laughs> now we're going to hop into the machine. And we're going to fast travel this because this machine is not roadworthy. Uh, so we're just going to go here, fast travel once again, because we love a good fast travel. And we're going to now do some compacting. There we go. So we're going to go down into here. And this will tell us probably everything we need to know. Throttle is forward. Yeah, so this is a lot like the machine that we used before. So we're going to kind of get a little bit better of an angle here. And we're going to get ourselves a little bit closer. And I think we do, I don't even know if we need a function mode for this. Let's see, context menu, um, compacting, on and off. Oh, we got to be on the spot first, so let's do that. All right, so now we're on the spot, and we're going to go here, compacting on, and we're going to do a whole bunch of compacting. And let's see, can I zoom this camera out? Yes, I can, because right, I definitely want to see it. So yeah, I've kind of left a nice big space over there on the left. Probably not the best. Uh, let's see, one hour accident free driving. <laughs> I don't know how we've managed that. Okay, so that's off. We're going to spin this around. And we're going to try and get this. We're going to do this kind of in almost as if I'm like mowing a large lawn because this thing has like zero turning radius at all. So <laughs> we're just going to make we're going to make do of trying to get this thing in a, in its best of a spot as possible. Whoa, and not fall down the hill. Let's not fall down the hill if we so choose. Um, oh boy, can I get out of here? There we go. So yeah, I got a little bit far down the hill that time. All right, so let's just go here. We're gonna just get this. Oh, and right, we're gonna try this again. Compacting is on. So we're just gonna get this little strip this time. And then we'll move around to the other side and get the other part. So we won't compact the sidewalk. I'm surprised that it didn't have an issue with us doing that. But that's okay. All right. For those of you wondering, yes, compactors have no turning radius. So that is your friendly neighborhood tip. Um, even now, we're still not exactly where we want to be, but I think we're pretty good. So we're going to go here and compact again. I might just back straight up after I do this. This feels like it's going to be the better way to go about this rather than trying to turn there by that power line or that, that power um, by the big pole. So we're going to just go here. We're going to turn the compacting off, just back straight up, and then hit this with another pass. Because I feel like this is going to be the better way to go about this. And actually turn the wheel the proper direction to get us in line for another pass. Okay. So we're making good time. I, I think we're doing good now. I think I got a good idea. And now we're going to go here. Once again, compacting is on. And hopefully we're only going to need one or two more passes of this. We should be pretty good. This is much better than we were digging that trench. So <laughs> that trench was not our friend. So, yeah, we're at 61%. So maybe two more passes and we should have this. Maybe three. Because um, it feels like we're getting about 18% per pass. So hopefully three more passes and we shall have this. We're going to back this up a little bit more. Whoops. And, yeah, let's see. No, this way. There we go. That's what we want. And we should be able to get ourselves in line here for another pass. It's not the, it's not the most precise of jobs, but it's a rusty champagne construction job. So it, it will eventually get there. We don't have to hit the whole thing. We just have to hit various pieces and parts <clears throat> until they tell us that we're good. So let's see, how are we doing now? Um, we're at 78%, uh, so yeah, we're gonna need two more passes. 
one more pass will not do it. Um, but we will be pretty close. So we'll get a pass this way. And then we'll back this up a little bit this way. And now we should be in pretty good shape for a big spot here. Let's get right to the edge. And compacting is once again on. I'm not sure if the asphalt is still hot, but <laughs> we're, we're going to go with it. So, yeah, we're going to be at just about enough here, but not completely. I don't know if we can actually... Uh, I wonder if you can do this going backwards. Let's see. Can we do this going backwards? Oh, we can. How about that? Had I known that, I would have just done that. So, <laughs> the things we learned. Okay. We've advanced in player level and received a new skill point for your first asphalting attempt. Not bad at all. Drive the construction to means construction machines off the construction site and then come on over. Okay, so let's get it off the construction site. If you no longer need it, uh, return it to the vehicle dealer via your fleet. So we're going to return all of our machines. I do believe we are off of there. Look at that fancy parking lot. So let's go here. And we got to go to our fleet, which is up here. And now we can get rid of all these things that we are renting. Uh, we actually have to exit that first. So let's exit that. Now we're going to press down. Nope, we're going to press to the up for our fleet. And we can... Oh, I didn't want to enter it. <laughs> let's get out. Let's try this again. Here, we're going to go to this. We're going to return it going to go to the dumper we're going to return it and we're going to go to the paver and we're going to return it everything has been returned and now hape where is hape oh he's over here what you doing over here hape how you doing look at that parking lot we made that's pretty pretty snazzy ain't it i kind of like it um and we got you people looking at some souvenirs hey it's actually starting to take shape over here. Oh, sorry, hey, um, we were just admiring the people. There we go. We paved paradise and put up a parking lot just right outside of our new souvenir stand. There we go. The asphalt compactor would be a good addition to your fleet. If you decide to buy a construction machine, you can purchase it from the vehicle dealer. All these things that the Hape is telling us would be good things to get. And we still haven't bought a vehicle. We will eventually buy one. Um, I just don't know why. So there we go. We got a nice fancy parking lot. Let's see if we can swing this out a little bit so we can get a better view of our handiwork that we did here. And already all the cars magically appeared. So there we go. Another couple of things done. We moved some toilets and we put up a parking lot outside of our new souvenir shop called Souvenirs. So that's going to be all for this one. Uh, I thank you for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like this video, I'd like it even more if you consider giving the channel a subscribe. But that is all for now. As always, thank you for being part of my silliness as I go blind looking right into the sun. I am Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.